Hey Duck fans! I want to apologize both for the short length of this video as well for how late it is. This isn't the August video I have planned that is still coming. This is the July video that unfortunately didn't have enough content for a full length script. My initial plan had been to celebrate July by comparing the similarities between our United States history to the Disney Universe's United States history. Duckburg is located in the state of Calisota, which is generally thought to be the Disney Universe's California, though there are maps where it appears to be plotted somewhere on the East Coast. Location is pretty important when looking back at significant historical events, and in the case of July's video, the historical event I wanted to discuss was the Civil War. Here's where I ran into a small snag in my research for this video. While I remember watching an episode of the original DuckTales that covered the Civil War, I can't for the life of me find it. I raked through Disney Plus only to learn that the episode I am looking for, episode 27 from season 1, isn't listed. It was omitted, probably for containing content relating to a polarizing war in American history. There is an unmistakable confederate flag displayed throughout the entire episode. Disney does try to keep its image relatively clean nowadays, but in doing so, it does make discussing things like the accuracy of historical fiction pretty difficult. What I can say about that particular episode, Launchpad's Civil War, is that it focused primarily on Launchpad and the junior woodchucks visiting the town of Duckridge, where Launchpad's great-grandfather, General Rhubarb McQuack, famously fouled up an attack against the Confederate soldiers and lost that battle for the Union, humiliating him and his troop. Launchpad is contacted by the mayor of Duckridge, Rufus B. Penfenders and asked to fill in for the role of his great-grandfather for a reenactment of the battle, to which he enthusiastically agrees to, only to be treated like a complete idiot by the mayor when he and the junior woodchucks arrive. It does end well enough, Launchpad does redeem his ancestor and clears his family name. Admittedly, it's not a great episode. But what I did find interesting about it was that the sympathetic characters were all Union-affiliated. I'm curious about what the polarizing conflict was between the Disney Universe's Union and Confederate sides. In our reality, one of the major factors in the Civil War was the fight to abolish slavery, but that is wholly omitted from any scant Disney media depicting the same event. The only other piece of Disney Duck media that I could find relating to the Civil War at all is a comic from 1960 called The Village Blacksmith, where we learn that Duckburg has a statue of a General Stonewall Duck, who fought the battle that saved Duckburg. This is especially confusing, seeing how Stonewall Duck is an obvious homage to Stonewall Jackson, a Confederate general. So we have General Rhubarb McQuack, a Union soldier and arguable good guy in DuckTales, and General Stonewall Duck, a Confederate soldier who allegedly saved Duckburg in the war. So I think it's safe to say that I've posed a question I simply have no way to answer, there just isn't enough to work with. Which side would Donald or his family have supported? There's no way to tell. I've looked over the Duck family tree a number of times now, and there aren't any members that strike me as either strictly northern or southern. Grandma Duck is country, not strictly one or the other. Again, I apologize for how short this one was, I spent the whole month trying to find information that just isn't available. I will get back to you Duck fans later this month with August's actual video. Thanks for watching.